Hey guys, this is Jamie Lola Tallula, and I am here with another oh so inspired episode with the collab lady. So in the box below, just click that little line and it'll expand and you can see all the ladies in the collaboration. So definitely go do that so you can check out everybody's fabulous projects. Also, you will find the um, inspiration video that she posted as our prompt for this month. And um, of course, I wanted to do exactly what was in the video. Well, you know, not necessarily the same card style, but I wanted to use the tool. Now, of course, when you want to use a particular product and you know you have it, can you find it? No. So I went to my next thing, which was aperture. So when you look at it, it's basically an aperture card and then it's got shaker elements you know put in the aperture so I went with that direction and uh, that's what I produced so the first one is probably not going to look like an aperture card but I'm going to show you what I used first and then it showed in any way so I had these mama elephant panda stamps and they come with dies you guys know I love my dies and Shonda had made a card and I was like I need to drag out these pandas so I did that Shonda if you're walking watching you should go check her out she's slim cards I used this stamp as well I used this one here it's a waffle flower and I used that one okay it has dies as well I don't know why it doesn't have a die for this big one but oh well then the dies I used for this were this Doris leaf and this die. So this was a Gina Marie die. Well, that's where I got it from her store. You probably can go look on AliExpress and get it if she doesn't have it in her shop anymore. Um, so it's this stitched circles and it cuts out the circle. So it has a stitching on the outside and the inside. And of course it leaves holes in the card. Aperture. <laughs> So I thought it would be fun to do a little play on that and use those little pandas in the apertures. Now, I did not use acetate on this one. I used layers. So here is my aperture card, even though it doesn't look like it has apertures on it. So I cut out the little pandas on some 110 pound cardstock because I wanted them to be a little stiffer. And if you can tell, you see the circle here? So I cut out that die, then I stuck my pandas in, and then that's on another layer of the same pattern paper. So you can see the pattern through. So here's the aperture, so you can see all six of them. And then I was sticking the pandas in. Okay, and this little upside down when they're inspired by Shonda's card because that was so funny she had him hanging upside down and so it says relax and enjoy the day now you'll notice that the stamp actually had day over here so I just inked this part and then stamped it then stamped day separately rather than cutting my stamp so the aperture actually is over the same pattern but you can tell it's in different directions so here's this in the background but you can see how the top part is different <coughs> And then there's that Doris die. I used an embossing folder. And then on the inside, there's a little bear again. One of those circles from the aperture die. And a couple more leaves. Okay. And then I inked everything in vintage photo. So that's that card. Then I did do another card. And let me show you the dies. So this is one of the couture dolls. It's at the scene. And I had yet to use this one. Now I had cut out, I think, the house, and that was about it. So I was deciding that I'm going to use this one as well. So I did two projects. Um, and this is what the die looks like. Oh my gosh. Isn't that beautiful? So you have a square. Then you actually have a cut-in die. Let me take this off. So this die here will actually cut into your paper, right? And if you do not use this border die here, it'll stay in your paper, okay? Um, then of course you have the house and the butterflies. And these are some little branches or trunks you could use them for. And it comes with two other sets, so I didn't use those. These are the ones I used. And then I used some packaging. <laughs> 
So here is my card. It's my first acetate card. You can see the border. I cut it six by six, or yeah, well, you know, six by 12. And then I cut that die into the card. And then I use this inner cut die to go ahead and cut out the aperture section, okay? and the butterflies and I use this house and then this paper in the background I used the bigger square die and then I had to cut it down just a tiny smidge because I didn't want it to overhang so I cut it down again a little a little smidge and this paper here is actually from a paper pad and so I just cut it so that I could have the tree beside the house then the house I cut it twice. I cut it all the way through to get the brown detail and then I cut it just so it would cut the outside and emboss the inside. So that's another thing that you can do with your dies is if you take this die and cut it all the way through it's going to give you the brown outline. See that? But if you go back through and either lower the pressure on your die which is change out the you know change out your plate combination if you do that, what it'll do is run through and it'll either cut out just the outline and not the detail, or it'll cut out the outline and the detail gets embossed, which is what happened here. So it was very easy to then just go back and layer this brown over top. Yay! Mm -hmm. And then I took the butterflies and some gold Mary card, put them on, because you can see that there's gold in the paper. And then in the front, if you add some more, it makes it look like there all right now I'll put a sentiment on it sometime but I didn't know what I wanted it to say so I just made the base all right thanks for watching check out the other ladies and I shall see you next month alrighty then and then make sure you check out the other clubs I'm involved in and um, go check out my other channel which has writing and so forth all right see you guys later thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe like and share bye